one interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This whale's story is the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. Iceland are quite different than those near Costa Rica. In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes of killer whales. An ecotype describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. in with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. The 
flippers on either side of the killer whale's body are called pectoral flippers, which are used for steering and stopping. Pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside of them, just like the human hand. The lobes on either side of the killer whale's tail are called flukes. Tail flukes are the killer whale's engine, propelling them close to speeds of 30 miles per hour. That's as fast as a speedboat. But the killer whales swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies up and out of the water. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pod. And calls for group coordination and hunting. Vocal development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shupa learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as part of their communication. Pectoral flaps are used to show dominance or to get noticed. For example, a mother may use a pet slap to get her calf's attention. When they really want to be heard, they breathe. Spy hopping is how killer whales coordinate and get a better view of their surroundings while they hunt. together to rear their young, protect their pod, and most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. 
Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stand on with their powerful bear fruits, making for an easy meal. we see the larger male orcas surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter, while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The calves then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator.
and demonstrates the same behavior just like the whales in British Columbia.
And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share. Thank you.